the city of Fort Collins, we have two wastewater facilities. The larger one is the 23 million gallons per day Drake Water Reclamation Facility. The smaller one is the 6MGD Mulberry Water Reclamation Facility. The Drake Water Reclamation Facility is the main wastewater treatment plant for the city of Fort Collins. It's a rated for 23 MGD. And we have primary clarification. As far as secondary treatment, we have an A2O process. And um, we have four digesters and UV for disinfection. So uh, after the uh, installation of uh, biological nutrient removal in the north and south trains between 2012 and 2015, uh, we were starting to get uh, increased uh, biological nutrient removal, concentrating the phosphorus in the solids. It went to the digesters. So when we dewatered, uh, our orthophosphorus and our um, ammonia uh, was much higher than before biological nutrient removal. And so uh, we were able to lower the orthophosphorus or the total phosphorus leaving the plant but uh, not to the point of our, our required regulations. With biological nutrient removal, we were able to lower our uh, total phosphorus, uh, leaving the plant from approximately four milligrams per liter to about, oh, um, on good days, we'd be below one milligram per liter, but most of the time, we'd be in the uh, 1.5 to, to three uh, milligrams per liter range. Uh, so we needed something else to meet the Regulation 85 that Colorado has uh, in place by January of 2021. Soluble phosphorus concentrations we had would be uh, uptake by the bacteria in our secondary process. We would then waste that to the digesters, which is anaerobic, and we would have release of the phosphorus in the digesters, which would then go into the centrifuges, and the phosphorus remained mostly in the solution, so it would be returned with the centrate back to the head of the plant to be treated back through the same process again. So essentially we weren't removing phosphorus, we were just kind of shifting it around the facility. We were not going to meet future regulations. So when we started looking at the technologies that would fit into our um, facility and the, the way we operate the facility, um, we chose the MagPrex for, the, for being able to um, capture the solids component of it and the dewatering ability. We did an analysis of, of uh, several different uh, types of chemical phosphorus removal. We looked at uh, you know, operating costs, we looked at capital costs, we looked at you know, ease of maintenance, and uh, we actually went over to Europe and analyzed several of those processes. And uh, MagPrex uh, kind of rose to the top as uh, you know, being the simplest uh, system uh, and most cost efficient for, for our application. The MagPrex system is a phosphorus removal system. It removes uh, orthophosphate, soluble phosphorus, which is released uh, in the anaerobic digestion process, right after the anaerobic digester, and before dewatering. Most technologies are either work in the centroid stream post uh, dewatering or in front of the anaerobic digester. MagPrex uh, difference is that we operate post. Uh, anaerobic digestion but before dewatering and that is important as we want to remove this soluble phosphorus before it goes through the dewatering equipment because phosphorus has very uh, negative impacts on dewaterability of your biosolids. The MagPrex process fits into our footprint very nicely because from our digesters we originally pumped sludge into a sludge holding tank and uh, which we fed our centrifuges from and uh, by putting the MagPrex process adjacent to that sludge holding tank, we were able to intercept the sludge, treat the sludge, and then send it by gravity over to the sludge holding tank. So after the digested sludge runs through the centrifuge, it falls into an auger system that is then conveyed to the back of one of our biosolid trucks. We typically fill the trucks to around 42,000 pounds, and then one of our uh, city personnel drives the truck to Meadow Springs Ranch, which is a 26,000 acre ranch that also acts as a cattle ranch. And um, they spread the biosolids out there on the pastures year round. We initially went into this design hoping to do phosphorus uh, harvesting um, and uh, because it's a cool thing to do. 
but as the uh, project developed and looking at our budget, we realized that we weren't going to be able to make that. So what we did was we designed our process, our system, so that we can add it in the future if we decide to do that. So we've been very happy. Our uh, two main things have, have occurred uh, with regards to uh, phosphorus concentrations. We're getting about 95% removal of our sludge coming from the digesters compared to the uh, sludge that's leaving the uh, MAGPREX reactor. And that feeds directly into the centrifuges, um, which lowers our phosphorus recycle within the plant system. By doing that, our phosphorus concentration in the digesters themselves has almost been cut in half. We originally get in about 450 to 500 milligrams per liter at some point uh, to the centrifuges, and now we're pretty consistently in the 220 to 240 range. MagPREX is performing really well right now, so I think the, um, the recommendation that we got from CMP was about a 90% removal, and we're actually hitting 95, 98% removal on our ortho P, which is awesome. So it's, it's, as far as I know, it's the best in the state. We are below our 1.0 milligram per liter total phosphorus limit, Reg 85. Um, the phosphorus going into the digesters has been reduced, um, so we don't have that recycle stream going back through the plant. Our goals are always to reduce chemicals, um, meet regulations, and do it in a safe manner. And so MAGPREX allowed us to achieve those goals. Um, we are regulatory compliant now with MAGPREX.